Welcome to Free. I'm Geraldine. And today I'm in an excellent mood. I don't know why. When I started recording this video, I remember that I was talking to my sister and we were talking about how when I don't know what video to make, I make a motivational video for two reasons. First, because I just motivate you with what I have in my brain. And second, because when I try to motivate you, I motivate myself. And I'm very motivated. And uh, that is the, the whole purpose of this video. Now, if I can motivate you, that would be like amazing, a bonus, a plus, something incredible. So this is what we're going to do in this video. Today, we have a motivational video. In this video, we're going to talk about and hopefully challenge ourselves with something interesting. I'm doing Instagram. I like it. I found a girl. Her name is... Sorry, I don't remember your name. I really don't know how to pronounce it, but I think it's Pinky. At least her first, the first part of her name is Pinky. And she's a native English speaker who's learning Japanese. <laughs> And she's doing this challenge that I found very interesting to do and to share with you. It's called uh, Fluent Fit and it's a writing challenge. She's made a list of 14 topics to write about uh, every other day during February. So we're starting February and we can start this challenge. I am going to do it myself. It's great because it'll give us a sense of accomplishment. It'll be easy to share with others. We will see our progress. We will practice every day or almost every day, which is uh, something that we need a lot. Uh, that is a routine that, that is constant practice. Either if you're working with a group or if you are working alone. Now, you know, I teach English. I have groups of students and I also have uh, private classes. And I think this is great for all of them. I'm gonna do this with all of them. I hope they enjoy it as much as I do. I'm very excited about this. Also because it's just general topics and it's easy to uh, put your level into it. Like if you are very basic, uh, you just need to write a couple of sentences. If you have a higher command of the language, you can go to paragraphs. If you are preparing for TOEFL or IELTS, you can write essays. If you just don't want formality, you can do free writing. I mean, this could be as personalized as you want. And also, it's a writing challenge, but you can make it a speaking challenge, especially if you're preparing for TOEFL or IELTS. How about a talking for a minute about each of these topics if you're preparing for TOEFL or talking for two minutes if you are preparing for IELTS? That would be also very useful. I mean, I... I, I, I First, I, I saw the uh, I saw the, the hashtag and I thought, oh, cool, I'll like it. But it, it's been growing in me. <laughs> but now I'm kind of obsessed with it. I really think it's a great, marvelous idea that I want to share with the whole world. And well, I'm sharing it with you. <laughs> Thank you for watching. <laughs> now, if you have problems, you don't know exactly what to do, well, I can help you with that. You just have to ask. Contact me and I'll help you. I'll tell you what you can do. I can give you prompts if you are basic, intermediate, advanced student or just for speaking or whatever you want. I'm gonna do writing uh, depending on my mood and my time every day. I plan to share it, um, I suppose via Instagram or maybe Twitter or Facebook. I'm very excited about this. I hope you are too. Uh, I can give you a little bit of my motivation. And let's keep learning together. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you again. Uh, this is a great idea. I hope it works for you and your Japanese too. Uh, anyone who's interested. It's going to be very, very useful. Um, now, before I finish, I have to say that I really want to finish it all, but I don't know if I'll be able to. But that's not gonna stop me from starting. So we're gonna go step by step. I hope you do too. I hope you join this challenge. Uh, it would be great to start a challenging <laughs> habit. I have two students actually who have challenged themselves to reading books. That is awesome. Their goal is to read a book in English. Now I would call that a long-term goal. 
Now, depending on your level, that could be a, a long-term goal or a short-term goal where you get and do challenge yourself to, to learning a song, to, to understanding a song, to uh, watching a movie, a TV program, to reading just a piece of news. So you can see your progress. Don't forget to see you are making progress every day. Watching this video is you making progress. You are practicing your English. Congrats. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and see you soon.